What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about video game consoles, console pricing at release, and how these prices can affect us as consumers. Now over the last two decades I've seen some pretty expensive video game consoles come out at launch at prices that have been absolutely ridiculous. The PS3 particularly comes to my mind when it first came out for the 60 gig version you would have been coughing up $600 and I didn't get it at release because like most people $600 was quite a bit of money to spend for a video game console at that time in my life so I ended up getting it a little bit later there have been consoles that have come out at a much higher price point than that and have failed tremendously in the, the, the video game spectrum as far as looking back hindsight's 2020 and these things have been huge failures some of them have done okay some of them have not but this is what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to give you guys the top 10 most expensive video game consoles of all time. And it's actually going to be converted uh, so that you guys can know exactly what the inflation would be by today's standards. This is on 1063thebuzz.com. There will be a link in the description. I'm also going to get to the title of this video after I go through this list. But number number 10, I'm sorry. Number 10 is the original PlayStation, which was released in 1995. The original price of the PlayStation 1 was $300, and adjusted for in inflation, it would have been $460 by today's standards. Number 9, the Xbox 360, released in 2005. The Xbox 360's original price was $400. Adjusted for inflation, it would have been $479. Number 8, the Xbox One. Dun, dun, dun. The original price $499 and there is no inflation because it still is $499. Number 7, the Sega Saturn 1995. The original price was $400 and adjusted for inflation for the time. Today's standards it would be $613. Number 6, the PS3 released in 2005. The original price was $600. Adjusted for inflation it would have been $696. Number 5, the Atari 2600, released in 1977. The original price was $200, and adjusted for inflation, it would have been $772. Number 4, the Intellivision, released in 1979. The original price was $300, and adjusted for inflation, it would have been $964. Number 3, the Neo Geo, released in 1991. The original price was $650, but adjusted for inflation, it would have been $1,116. Number two, the Panasonic 3DO, released in 1993. The original price was $700, and adjusted for inflation, it would have been $1,130. And the prestigious number one spot goes to the Philips CDI, released in 1991. The original price was $700, and adjusted for inflation, it would have been $1,200. So, these consoles, and you guys know a lot of these, did not do very well. And sometimes they get priced ridiculously, and it does nothing but hurt the company, and leaves just a bad mark in history. PlayStation 4 released at $400, respectively. But it appears that Sony of Canada has decided to raise the price of the PlayStation 4. That's right. Sony's One of Sony's biggest mistakes is about to be made. If this thing takes off and the price of the PS4 changes in multiple regions, this is going to be some really bad news. It's bad news for all Canadians. All right, This is bad news for, for people like Unreal Gamer. Uh, March 15th, you guys watch for this date. This article's on GameRant.com. It says Sony raises PS4 price to $449 in Canada starting March 15th. While Sony's PS4 is still selling extremely well in all parts of the world, as most regular retail uh, browsers know, it also is also very hard to find. So hard to find, in fact, that some retailers have taken to marking up the price in order to capitalize on high demand. But the news we bring you today is not of a single retailer jacking up the price of the PS4 consoles to try to turn a quick buck. Rather, news has just broke via Sony Entertainment Canada that the PS4 console will start retailing at $449 in the region. The Toronto Sun has the official statement from Sony Canada which states rather succinctly, 
that the price increase is in response to changes in the market environment. The changes will go into effect on March 15th and will include a $50 increase on the PS4, now $449, and a $5 increase in both the PS4 camera and the DualShock 4 controller, now $64. It might be easy to assume these changes were in response to the PS4 limited supply, but that may, be the, that may not be the only reason. It's worth mentioning too that new next gen releases for both consoles, the PS4 and the Xbox One have jumped up to $64.99 in the region. Sony Canada also plans to up the price to $69.99 on two of their forthcoming exclusives, Infamous Second Son and MLB 14 The Show. That being said, Microsoft claims they have no plans to increase the price of their Xbox One console and should stay at $4.99. Obviously, this price increase is disappointing and a blow to our fellow Canadian, Canadian gamers, and it doesn't seem to be a temporary change either. We recommend anyone who is on the fence about picking up a PS4 to do so right this second, provided you can find one. This is a sign you've been waiting for. Bad news, guys. I don't like this news. I think that Sony should try to stay uniform with their consoles. You guys let me know what you think about this potential high, this high $50 price hike on the PS4. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.